My name is James Queen Shoe, and this is Come Clear Epic number two. I want to talk about some fairly disgusting stuff, and no, this is an act, act four. I haven't really thought how I was going to approach you guys on act four, so this is like a, a time filler thingy just to kill some time before I turn my ass in and go to bed. So, let's give it up for a few things. <sighs> let's give it up for boogers. That's right, those little green things that hang out of your nose at the worst appropriate time or the most inappropriate time, like when you're going to talk to a hot chick and all of a sudden you have some hangmen hanging down. They're hanging low enough for everyone else to see them and not tell you, but for you to not see them because, face it, when you look straight down, you can probably just see your upper lip and maybe the sides of your nose, but you can't really see what's hanging out of your nose. And boogers are like cockroaches. They pop up when you don't need them. And no one wants to go talk to a hot chick with a green booger hanging out of their nose. To solve that solution, why everybody was always making fun of me, because I always did a booger check, I buy mirrors. Damn. <laughs> They're uh, pretty neat. They fit in your pocket. People call me a little sissy because I have these. But you know what? My nose is clean. It stays clean. You know why it stays clean? Because I check it every 20 minutes. I have certain obsessions that I can't control, and impulsively, I will check my nose. If I talk to a hot chick, and she gives me way too many smiles, the first thing I think is, there must have been a booger hanging from my nose, and she just didn't want to tell me. I don't think she wanted to hurt my feelings, or whatever the hell it is. But the fact that no one else who knew me before I went to go talk to this person didn't tell me either really fucking sucks. So if you're a friend and your friend has a mucous membrane hanging from his nose or her nose, it would behoove you to set them straight and always carry some tissue because you're going to need that tissue. You don't want to go free digging for boogers up your nose in front of everyone because that's disgusting. But yeah, let's give it up for boogers. Boogers are awesome. You're awesome pain in the ass. No one else I want to give it up for. I think I touched on this last night, but let's give it up for pubic hair. I hate pubic hair. Pubic hair also is one of those things that just pops up like cockroaches. I say this because in case I didn't tell you the other night when I made this video, um, I clean toilets, and pubic hair magically never comes off the toilets. I will wash and blow and do all the stuff with this cleaning equipment, and I seem like I still just can't get enough of the pubic hair off. Like, just magically keeps coming back. So, again, I think people should shave pubic hair. You know what else we want to give it up for? We want to give it up for people who don't take responsibilities for their actions, or their thoughts, or some of the shit that flies out their mouth. I am a cusser. I thought this would make me look sexy. But what it's done is just got on my nerve. Anyhow, there are things that we must discuss. And, you know, there are things that we give it up for and there are things that we don't. And some of the things that get on our last nerve are idiots. So let's give it up for idiots. And whatever village they came from, please take them back. I'm James Williams. You just come back with number two. Be seeing.